Howdy folks, Slingin' Toad here. Thanks very much for tuning into my video today. I greatly appreciate that. And folks, I am super excited to present this brand new knife that I just got in. Before I get into the knife though, I want to just quickly mention that this is a knife model that I've had before in the past. But what makes it different is the blade steel that it is made from. Uh, and that is CPM Magna Cut. I have wanted to get a knife in CPM Magna Cut for quite some time now. Uh, I think I first learned about it a year and a half, two years ago, somewhere around there. Um, and when it first came out, there was only a couple of knife manufacturers working with it. It was bonkers expensive. And then a few other knife makers got their hands on it, started working with it. Some companies didn't get their heat treat quite right, and others were better at it. You know, that's neither here nor there. But the bottom line is, it was expensive. And up until only like a week ago, uh, I could not find a knife, any knife, in CPM Magna Cut on this side of the border here in Canada for anything less than about 350 Canadian dollars. And that's a lot of money to me, folks. I, I know for some of you tuning in, that might be pocket change, but for me, that's, you know, that's a lot of money. And to put tie that up all into one single knife uh, means, you know, I, I can't make knife videos for three months, okay? Because that's a lot of money to throw on a single knife. So... Uh, long story short, I was able to find this knife uh, on sale at Blades Canada uh, for 200, for just over 200 Canadian dollars. And uh, you know, when I saw that uh, this was on sale, I saw it was a Spiderco, which Spiderco is really good and really proficient with their heat treats. I own several Spiderco knives. I love their uh, their knives and their quality. Uh, it was a no-brainer. I was like. and I pulled the trigger and got it. So without any further ado, let's get into the knife. So that's what this side looks like. That's that side, that's that side, that's that side, and I already showed that side, and that's the back side. So let's go ahead and open up the box. So there we have the knife itself. Inside there is a Spyderco sticker. And there is a Spyderco, uh, uh, you know, some uh, literature from Spyderco. And then there's a foam pad. But you guys aren't here to see uh, stickers and foam pads and literature, I don't think. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the knife out. Uh, and yes, folks, I have already taken it out and had a quick look at it, you know, to make sure that there was nothing wrong with it. And in full disclosure, I did purchase this, this knife with my own money from Blades Canada. Uh, I also just want to quickly mention that I ordered this knife like last Saturday and today as of filming is, um, I want to say Wednesday, uh, you know, that they're in Vancouver, BC, I'm in Ontario and it took like three days for them to ship this knife to me. I was blown away. That was the fastest they've ever sent the knife out to me. Uh, so thanks very much Blades Canada for, for, for doing that. Um, but uh, anyway, here's the knife. And there we are. Of course, it's in the uh, yellow, and I believe they're calling this the Salt Series, is what I think it said. Where was it on the box? Yeah, it says Native 5 Salt. So I guess that's what the yellow is all about. The last one I had was uh, in black, and it was in the standard uh, S30V uh, blade steel. But this, of course, is in the, uh, the CPM Magna Cut. So that's what that side of the knife looks like. So there we are. So, of course, it's the Native 5 Lightweight. This knife has been reviewed... Actually, let me turn on an extra light here. Uh, this night, night. This knife has been reviewed to death by many reviewers, so I'm not going to do a proper review on it. Um, I've even done a review of the Spyderco uh, NATO 5 already on my channel, so I invite you to go check that video out if, if you've never heard of a NATO 5 lightweight before. This knife does come in a whole plethora of different blade steels, Maximit, uh, S110V, uh, S30 as I already mentioned, I think there's... I want to say there's two or three other blade steel options and different handle scale options as well. But of course, this is in the Magna Cut, which I am super, super excited for. And uh, that was the main reason for buying this knife. You know, like I said, folks, it was a Spyderco. It was well under 300 bucks. In fact, it was just over 200 Canadian dollars. And it was, um, uh, you know, in, in the Magna Cut steel, uh, I just had to, had to snap it up. There was no uh, hesitation on that. Uh, and I've already had one of these before, and uh, I know it's a great knife, so it was just a no-brainer for me. Um, but I'm super happy to have this Magna Cut Steel in my collection, uh, and I'm going to put it to the test and find out what it is uh, all cracked up to be. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with CPM Magna Cut, 
Um, what this steel is supposed to be is the be-all, end-all uh, of, of the holy trinity of knife uh, steels. So basically there's three things that we look for in a good steel. Toughness, edge retention, and rust resistance, uh, or corrosion resistance, or rough pr rust proof as I quickly wrote it there. Um, so this is kind of like your holy trinity of what makes a good blade steel. Now for those people who don't give a crud about, you know, whether it's rust proof or not, then this doesn't really matter. Steels like M4, K390, Maximum, they're right up your alley because they'll give you toughness and edge retention, you know. But if you're like me and corrosion resistance matters to you, to find a blade steel that has all three of these done very, very well, there's not many blade steels out there that can do all three of those things very well. And that is what CPM MagnaCut is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the best at all three of those things. So, uh, or at least very good at all three of these, those things. I shouldn't say the best because there are better blade seals that are better at other things, but, um, you know, but anyway, I'm getting this, uh, this video is getting a little too long here and I don't want to bore you guys with, with a whole metallurgy lesson. But, uh, anyway, we're just going to do a couple quick size comparisons. Like I said, reviews have already been done, but just for those folks who've never seen one of these before, uh, the native five, uh, I just want to give you a fair shake. So first uh, comparison is going to be with the Ontario Rat 1, Civivi Elementum, and since I happen to have it out on the bench because I was just sharpening it, and I just put a semi mirror polished edge on that blade there, the Buck 124 Frontiersman. <laughs> Both these knives look tiny compared to this big, big bad boy of a knife. But, uh, yeah, very, very happy with the results on that. Very hair-popping sharp. Okay, so, we have, like I said, CPM MagnaCut Steel. I am super excited for this. And, uh, you know what? If this is in MagnaCut Steel, why don't we start MagnaCutting things? How about that, folks? All right. Sepia MagnaCut can MagnaCut foam. No problem. Can MagnaCut paracord. No problem. Can MagnaCut T. MagnaCutting sandpaper. Magna cutting a darn three eyed spider. Magna cutting the cheese. <clears throat> Excuse me. Magna cutting grapes. Magna cutting a potato. He slices, he dices, he makes home fries in six different varieties. And I'm knocking everything about, folks. <laughs> Alright, I'm having a little too much fun with this. So folks, that was just a quick demonstration of me being silly with the CPM MagnaCut knife. What do you guys think? Do you think CPM MagnaCut is what it's all cracked up to be? Do you think it's worth your money to go out and buy this blade steel or a knife in it? Do you like the Spyderco NATO 5? Tell me about it down in the comments. I'm going to be doing a proper full review of this blade steel when I've actually had some pocket time with it. This knife is brand new. I haven't sharpened it. haven't even stropped it. That's the edge right out of the box. And it's, you know, very, very, very still sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, knife a fair shake. I'm going to carry it for probably a solid month. See how it uh, works out. And then I'll do my, rev my review of the... Um, can't even talk right now. I will do my review of the CPM MagnaCut blade steel and how it performed, and I will compare it against my favorite blade steel, S35VN. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're entertained. I know I had fun making this video. Take good care. Sing and Toad signing out. What do you got, Ace? Hey, what do you got? You got a leaf? Hey, you got a leaf? Hey? <laughs> Give me your leaf. Give me your leaf. Give me your leaf. <laughs>
Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, Ace? Hey? Who's a good boy? <laughs> oh, see, good boy was digging a hole. Uh huh. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing, Ace? Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs>